Hey everyone and welcome to my channel Lilies and Blush. My name is Suzanne and thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Um, so a little bit different in that obviously seeing my face. <laughs> Don't do these very often um, but this is just for the intro. Um, so this video is kind of an update on my desk uh, area, but also mostly just showing how I store my wax collection and now that it has like quadrupled in size <laughs> and is going to continue to grow, um, kind of how I'm managing that. I store my wax near my desk area, so it's all kind of like right in the place that I spend a lot of my time, um, here in my living room, as you can see, uh, behind is what's behind me, or around me, honestly. Um, so yeah, I will share with you guys a little bit um, of what that looks like of my wax collection uh, and then give you kind of an update on my desk area because it's involved in the wax collection space. So there we go. Let's get into it. Okay, so here is kind of an overview of this space. So this is my desk area. Obviously, usually my chair is there, but it's over pushed away so you guys can see everything. Uh, still have my washi collection, uh, have some new stuff on the wall go over, kind of what I'm doing over there. Still have my sticker collection and some stuff down there. And then we move into my wax storage and my wax storage. Um, that book there will be going away um, once I get my coffee cart in. This space is my husband's computer space. We also have a fan that like pulls out into the living room area. But again, I've pushed it out of the way so you guys can see. And then as you guys keep seeing, that row there and the sh other shelf above it is my husband's Legos. Uh, that's his Lego tank collection. Or I think they're not like Lego tanks. They're like some other like German brand of Legos or something. I don't know. But tank lego-like collection and then some more lego stuff um but obviously the main thing is my um wax collection here that i store in the little like tote square thing box things <laughs> um cubes that's what they're called i was like what what is the word uh cubes there and then my little like fa faux rascog <laughs> uh i think i got that actually from it was either Target or it was um, not Hobby Lobby. What's the other one called? A craft store of some kind. I, I got. I didn't get it from IKEA. Uh, I think maybe I did. I don't honestly remember if that's actually a Roscoe or not. Um, but it's a cart. It's a craft cart, basically. Um, and then yeah, so I'll go over everything kind of in detail. So let's walk in to the area. I have you on my little like selfie stick thingy. Uh, so again, washi collection is still there. Um, here I still have my sticker collection. So if you see my previous desk haul, I guess, uh, is what I'm kind of referencing off of. But um, yeah, that hasn't really changed um, since I last kind of went over things, I think. Honestly, actually, this might be new um, that I put up these black ones, but I don't know if I showed those or not. I still keep a little like container here on the windowsill to store things and rest stuff on. Um, but in here, so again, just my sticker booklets. I have this pad, um, from Sticker Guru and that I used to use in my planning. Um, and then I've kind of taken a break from planning. Um, if that hasn't really been, I don't know if I've really done an update about that, but I'm kind of taking a break from planning right now. So this stuff I'm not really like getting into right now, but, um, still keeping it here for now for when I do eventually go back. I'm sure I will. Uh, and it's got my ears that I just got from Disneyland, these set here, and then these ones are ones I got online that I wore to Disneyland. Uh, and then just little like charms that I've gotten from different like planner things and wax boxes and stuff like that. I think mostly nerdy wax. Uh, Rattle the Stars um, is a, I got this from the bookish box uh, as a quote from one of my favorite books. Little like bell bow that I was wearing at Disney as well, more sticker stuff. Um, and then my Hades fan. I don't think I showed this off, but um, it's a it's a fan with Hades on it saying it's so hot or it's too hot or something like that um, on it that I got at Disney to try to keep cool. And then we pan over here and this is my actual desk space. We have my two monitors and the stand. This here is my, um, what I film on, what you guys see me 
uh, how I film all my wax videos, all my planner videos, all my almost all my videos, um, other than obviously this one. And then I've got like little deco bits over there. I've got my tablet, my iPad, and then behind that is my newer Happy Wax warmer um, for the living room. I've moved it over here. It used to be behind our TV. I moved it over here to see if it worked better over here. It kind of does. Um, but like I said, I'm getting a new coffee cart, so that should, that will go on that, um, instead, or it's really like a coffee shelf, <laughs> um, rather than a cart, um, but coffee area, coffee bar kind of area, um, and that will go over there instead, and I'll see how it works over there. I'm just trying it all over the living room to try to improve things. I might have to get a third, I don't know. Um, I have a very open concept living area space that's kitchen dining room and living room all in one so it's very large um and you know not difficult sometimes with some sense to spread through i've talked about it on the channel before i uh, got my strawberry banana smoothie sitting there and then over here i do have my oil and my perfume from uh, villainous wax and then those are vitamins i need to take that i forgot about um and then i have my um or a cell uh, cloud planner pocket planner um and i love it i still use it every day i use it to record lots of stuff um so that's the one planner thing that i'm kind of been sticking with and then just two little drawers with like items in there scissors and things like that and then the important part um possibly the reason you're even watching this video is my new wax storage so I'll start at the top here. So obviously you have a lamp, whoop, I'm hitting it. I have this lamp from Ikea next to it. Um, but this notebook here is my notebook where I record um, different wax stuff. I'll probably go over it in my next weekly melting basket video or may have already, um, if that went up before this video, I may have already gone over it, but I've made a little bit of changes um, to how I'm kind of sorting it, but it's where I record. Um, the wax that I'm melting, how I feel about it, stuff like that. Uh, and then I do have my pin, um, pencil jar, pin jar, pin cup, pin cup, that's what I was trying to say, uh, there with all kinds of different items in there. It's that, um, so many years ago, I think you got it from like Target or whatever, the little like face on it, um, either Target or one of the craft stores. Um, okay, so up here we have, this is where I put my empties, so I put like them down over here, record them in there, and then put them in here to then film my empties and melting basket um, in this little container. So then um, this basket I think I got from Fred Meyer, but these little green ones and the little white ones that are in here, actually all the other little organizers in here, um, I got from Target. Uh, this is a part of their like collection um i can't remember what it was called but it was in like the target organization section um and then some of them i did get in like the dollar spot section or whatever it's called now um so here i have my wax cutter the big one that i got from villainous wax and then this little one i purchased on amazon um little scooper little like plastic knife thing that's what i used to cut wax with uh and then a little like empty bag um, that I think some wax came in that I wanted to save, um, in case I need an extra, like, baggie or something for some of them. Um, and then here I just have some random shop, like, um, mostly my fantasy wax samplers and then some, like, random other ones, some, like, L3 ones, um, that was, like, bigger, uh, little, like, I think this is from... Yankee Candle or something, yeah, like a little Yankee Candle sampler, um, one from Nerdy Wax, like, just kind of random sampler ones, I can, freebies that I can just toss in there after I'm done filming, uh, and everything, and then here, so I do pull this out, usually the only thing I have in front of it is this little box that, uh, I put the wax into, uh, once I'm done filming, uh, cause then I, you know, take this over to, you know, sit down and go through it and sort it and put it away. But also, um, sometimes I film before my husband gets a chance to smell them. So I put them in here and then he gets to smell them before I put them away. 
because uh, he always likes to see what new wax I'm getting. Um, so then up here, sorry, I'm going to take a breath. <laughs> oh, I'm like out of breath. Okay, so up here um, we have seasonal. So over here is what's left of my summer wax. I just pulled like a ton from this area. So it was actually this whole thing. Um, but I think what I'm going to try to do, um, is so like this is summer. This is what I have left for summer, uh, including this one here from L3, this big loaf. Uh, but I have my wax cups, um, and then different ones from like Southbound Candle Co., uh, I've got rose girls up here, like just basically anything I have left that I think is summery um, that I would like, because I'm not a seasonal melter. If you've been watching my wax videos, you kind of know I'm not necessarily seasonal based. I will melt some things like I feel like they're just year round scents to me. Um, but there are times where like I do really want to be like just go all fall right or like just be summery and bright and you know i'm just feeling that vibe so i do kind of separate things out by season just not just anything that's very obviously that season i think if it's like subtly that season or if it's kind of in between i'll put it in my like over here um in my like regular wax my everyday kind of wax anytime wax there we go that's the word i was looking for uh, so, but these are just ones that I feel like are definitely 100% meant to be summery, um, or are summery. And then over here, I'm starting my, uh, fall scents. So this is everything I currently have in my collection. I haven't really received any of the stuff I've specifically ordered that is fall. Like, oh, this is our fall pre-order or, hey, this is our fall scents. Like I haven't gotten any of those yet. Um, but I will be putting those, uh, I'll show you next in one of the little cubes. Um, and this will just be the ones that I start out with. So as soon as I start feeling those fall vibes, um, I will start melting from this basket. And then once this is emptied, then I will load up more in here. I think that'd be a good way to kind of manage it and to make sure I'm actively pulling from here during those seasons. Uh, and then I'll just start piling up, you know, I'll move like this, the fall stuff to the front and then if I need more space I might do a whole row of fall um but if I don't then I'll probably start gathering like my wintry type scents in over here and just kind of like have that cycle um moving them through if that makes any sense uh and then down here on the bottom we have um a lot of stuff going on so what I'm probably gonna do is um give me one second I'm gonna so I just have to like, I can move my monitors around. So I'll show you. So I was able to push that forward. I can like move them back and forth to a certain point and then I'm able to pull the cart out without worrying about anything on top. So I'll kind of pull her out for you. This is hard to do one handed because <laughs> it's not a light cart, that's for sure. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know what angle you were getting, but okay, so. Um, here we have all my Twin City Art Scents little like samplers. I normally melt these in the bathroom, so I kind of just kept these all gathered together. And then over here is essentially all of the L3 samplers and freebies I've gotten so far. Um, already have a lot, like these are pretty deep little containers. These are the ones from the dollar spot that came in a set of three. So you got these two plus the bigger ones and the bigger ones are in my cube. So I'll show this to you. Um, and then, over here on this side, turn it around. And this is why I love having the cart. Um, and I started using it. This was in my son's room and we were using it for like toy storage, but I got him some better toy storage um, just because, you know, he has so many toys. He needs more storage anyways. Uh, so I decided to repossess it <laughs> uh, and take it back and use it for wax. And I'm, I'm loving it, honestly, like being able to pull it out and get into everything and see everything is so nice and I just think it, it looks really good like in this area too so the space that it fills like it's just really great um so here I have them like flipped around but we'll do this so again the little green one and then these ones here all from Target just in their like organized bathroom organization or just organization section um I think this actually came from the bathroom organization but I liked it because it's stacked uh, as you'll see in a second, but these are from that good smell shop. So I'm planning on just keeping all of their stuff here. 
Um, I have more coming, uh, some made to order ones. So those will all just go in here um, and then maybe use this for some other things down the road. Um, and then up here, I have my, oh, that goes in the sampler. So this is where I'm storing all my wax cups now. Um, I have less, especially now that I've split them up into like seasonal and things like that, um, but still a lot. <laughs> uh, so this is all the older ones. Um, so what my, how I kind of melt, since I don't just melt exclusively seasonally, um, I melt oldest to, to youngest is usually how I melt. Um, I don't normally even really look at scent notes. I just grab whatever's oldest. Um, when I'm doing my melting basket, obviously with, with summer, fall, winter, I'm definitely more seasonal based. So that's where the seasonal stuff comes into play too. Like I do a mix of both usually. Um, but yeah, so up top here is all, so I have fantasy wax and nerdy wax, um, possibly, I don't think I have any villainous wax up here yet. Um, I think I grabbed the ones that were, so see that's nerdy wax nerdy wax and then the rest is all oh no there we go so there's one villainous wax so just whatever's eldest goes up top and then i have the second one um and whatever's youngest so like i just got the wreck it ralph collection so that's down here the stranger things collection some of the spongebob collection that i don't that i feel could be in any time since um they're down here and then the older collections that I've kind of had hanging around for a bit are in here. And I love it. I, it's just, oh, it makes me feel so good. Like, it makes it so much easier, too. Before, I had them all in a cube. And, like, they were stacked, like, six tall or something or four or five tall. And so, it was made it really hard to get the younger ones in, you know, because I was, like, having to put them on the bottom. And so, I meant, like, reorganizing my wax every single time I got new um new wax in so my plan here is like since obviously now the bottom is full um once i if i get what when i get another collection most likely fantasy wax um <laughs> there's a number one one i buy from that comes in cups like this um i will move the older collection in oldest collection in the bottom one up to the top one and then put the younger collection in here and that will help me cycle them through and it'll be just so much easier than those stacks and the things that I was doing before. So I'm very excited about that. That makes me super happy. <laughs> so I'm gonna set the cart aside and we'll move on to the cubes. So yeah, bookshelf here. I think I either got it from Walmart or Target. Uh, I think it was Walmart. I think I, I was searching for a bookshelf and I couldn't find them like anywhere except Walmart had this one. It was like the last one. Um, and I kind of wanted one in white, but they had this one in black. So I was like, okay, at least that kind of goes with my aesthetic. And it does really go well with like the cubes that I have. And I already had these cubes um, before I got this shelf. So, so yeah, anyways, um, I have this book here, but I'm just waiting again for my coffee cart. I'm going to put cookbooks and things like that on there, uh, lifestyle books or whatever on there. Um, so it's just hanging out, but this is the first cube. So this is all of my snap bars. <laughs> I have so many. Uh, so here is the bigger, um, I really can't like get it out honestly, but this is the bigger version of those smaller gray ones I was showing you that have the samplers in them. This is the bigger version. So you get those two small ones plus this big one in the set for like $5. It's, amazing so i did get two of those uh so you'll, you'll see um those other ones here in a second in the cubes um but yeah so this is all of the so i've melted confetti just uh villainous wax um nerdy wax fantasy wax and then melted magic or black magic i don't know why i keep calling it melted magic <laughs> black magic um and then like these are my older ones so again i just kind of sort them oldest to youngest so it's just oldest to youngest but sometimes i just grab them by um by shop and then i do have one sassy girl aroma like an older one from her um sunday brunch i got it in a d stash i have one of those left so i have that in there um but yeah i'm just like um, I definitely have a lot more Sassy Girl stuff, so I honestly, I'm not sure 
how I'm gonna revamp this, but I'm definitely gonna be actively changing my wax um, storage. But I, this is as close, I think, to perfection as I was gonna get, or like close to around what I was gonna get. So that's why I wanted to film this for you. Um, now, rather than wait until it just becomes more chaotic. Uh, so then here, I kind of consider this my like shapes um, kind of cube. So I have all these little shapes. So I have like Nerdy Wax, little, um, AT, AT, Millennium Falcon, the food ones from Nerdy Wax. Um, I have like Fantasmic, little like Disneyland shapes, cheese, and then I have little like puppy packs from L3. This one's from um, their little like bunny butts, and that's from uh, villainous wax. Oh my gosh. Uh, and then I've got like little fluted cups, just like anything that's kind of shapey. Black magic, I got the little like shapes from them. Um, and the pistachio cake here, a giant like bag of that. And then these are all puppy packs I got from L3. Um, this isn't even all of the puppy packs. There definitely is more, um, but I just felt like this was like a general good setup for a cube. Um, again, this basket used to hang on my wall, um, and then I didn't really have a purpose for it, so I put it in here to help kind of organize things within to keep things a little less chaotic. Um, so yeah, so I kind of just put my like smaller shapes in here and then the bigger packs of shapes um, there, and then above it in another one of these cubes get that down i have more shapes um so we have southbound cookie jar um and orange grove here southbound candy co they're little like bakery packages of shapes um so again this is more like shape style stuff um and brittles just anything that's like chunks of wax that's smaller chunks and not like the giant chunks and i'll show you kind of what i mean the difference there but more puppy packs more puppy packs and then all my rose girls um chunks chunk bags or blocks i think she calls them blocks i can't remember chunks or blocks whatever they are <laughs> um these are kind of hard to no cool i found a use for the little like hole there <laughs> i was like i never use it but i was able to stick my thumb in there and lift it up Okay, so then next we have um, the clamshells. And um, I do have some snap bars in here again. I just didn't want to like overcrowd the snap bar or the, yeah, the snap bar cube. I gotta, I just gotta figure that out. Um, and then what to do with the clamshells. Cause I, I have a lot, but then I don't have quite as much as some of them. So I might, I might do something there, um, we'll see. But this might become snap bar part two uh, when I get my sassy girl collection and we'll have to see. But um, but yeah, so these two, again, the two little, same two little bins um, that I got from Target in the dollar spot. And then these are all from Villainous Wax. So these are the really big, like long um, clamshells that she does. Two little clamshells again from Villainous. Southbound Candle Co. Um, clamshells, and then again, Villainous Wax. This one's from Nerdy Wax, like the Jurassic World one. Um, and then another like Jurassic World or Jurassic Park one from, um, it's like little squares from Nerdy Wax. So that's kind of my clamshell storage for now. But again, I, that might be what really gets switched up once I get a couple of Sassy Girl orders that I've put in. I think I have like two now. Um, so we'll have to see. <laughs> As my collection grows, this will shift and grow too. So I'll do updates for sure if you guys want to see that. Uh, okay, so next let me stand up because I feel like that's gonna be a little easier. Now we have this top one. Um, so this is where it's pretty empty now. So that's where I'm trying to decide, like maybe I do a part, do, do two part for snap bars and then move clamshells up here. Um, but uh, this I kind of call my big chunks of wax um, to one so my loafs obviously would go in here um, I have another like kind of loaf from uh, Teddy Bees and then I have like the big the cloud cakes from L3 the bunts from L3 any other bunts I get from like fantasy wax and stuff will go in here too so just big chunks of wax that things that I definitely will have to chop essentially 
would go in here. So I figured like that would make things easier for me to find. It's like, okay, I need to chop wax. Um, or I feel like chopping wax here, you can just chop everything in here that hasn't been chopped yet, basically. Um, so yeah, and then last but not least is this cube here. Um, <laughs> it looks really empty now, uh, but it will definitely be filling up because I have several fall things coming. But this is essentially gonna be my seasonal cube. So these ones here, um, I'm like trying to uh, balance it being out. Okay, so these ones here are like winter, spring, what I have left over from winter, spring time that kind of give me those vibes um, and don't give me really any time vibes, but just give me strong like wintry or spring vibes. And then uh, this basket here has a candle and a nerdy wax and then a, a villainous wax candle that's very fall, um, Halloween type one. And so that's like the witch's brew. Um, I think that's what he called it, it was witch's brew. Let me see. Yeah, witch's brew, like cauldron one that I'm still not sure I'll ever melt <laughs> because I just love the way it looks so much. Um, but this will be where I put any of the fall things that are coming until I melt the ones that are in the cart. So once I melt off all the ones in the cart, um, or at least get them in my melting basket to melt off, then I'll move things from in here into the cart. So it'll just like shift and grow. And then once fall is over and everything fall and I start getting winter stuff, that will be... Um, when I move the winter stuff into the ba the basket here and start gathering my winter. So um, that'll be kind of like, again, that cycle shift that I was talking about earlier. So yeah, that is all of that wax storage for the most part. I think I went through everything. Um, I'm gonna turn this cart around and put her back. But yeah, so that should be everything. Oh, I think there is one... Thing I didn't show you guys I was gonna I mentioned earlier and then I completely just glossed over it why aren't you going back the way you're supposed to there we go it's like a little caught on the edge of my desk but that's okay um I was pushing my lamp back because I pushed it back okay so so yeah I think that's everything um oh no I was saying I didn't really go over what was up here anymore I definitely changed things up a little bit up here if you've watched my my desk video before so as a last thing if you were just interested in wax feel free to leave I'm just gonna go over this wall and then we'll be done uh so I do have my Dr. Pepper calendar here from my Pepper Pack membership um I am like I said a member of the Pepper Pack uh, which is something that you can kind of like sign up I think there's a wait list maybe still but um I got a, to be a part of it from like the very beginning which is super cool and they send you free stuff so I got this really cool calendar um and that's what I use as my wall calendar and then I have my pin board um with like postcards and all kinds of different things on it kind of just representing all of the fandom me type things that I love planner stuff anime video games Dr. Pepper <laughs> all of it uh and then I did get the uh, art print from Oh no, I can't remember their shop name. They're a sticker shop. They do amazing artwork as well. Um, I love, I've just, I don't love their sticker types, but I love their sticker style. I love like the, the full boxes and things they do. So I did get, of course, they did a Harry Potter collection and I did get that art print. I think I have a video talking about it, um, probably under like planner stuff. So um, that will show what, what shop it is. It might come to me. Uh, and then I have Coffee Monster Co. and Once More With Love. Um, Coffee Monster Co. This was from the little, um, when she did the calendar two years ago or so. Uh, the, and it was like Disney themed, Disney princess kind of themed. So I got the bell one there, reading. And then like a little like working planning thing from Once More With Love. Uh, and then I do have this. So this was supposed to be my calendar. <laughs> Um, but it was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, so it's just like a Disney one, Thomas Kincaid, I think one. I just love the art style, um, and everything. I know sometimes he does like religious stuff, but, um, my mom was always obsessed with him. So I just always really liked the art style, but I loved just the art style of all the Disney stuff. So you got like they're in Hawaii and Pluto running on the beach. So I switch out the pictures. I just don't use the calendar parts. So that's why it's kind of like folded and it looks a little weird probably. 
Um, but so I just used the pictures. So like I just switched to that for like July. Um, but like previously I had like Ariel um, and Eric in the boat and like the lagoon, like that, that. it was like beautiful. Um, and then last, I have the, had these little wooden cube things over by my husband's area, but in order to fit the bookshelf, I had to move one. Um, so I moved it over here as a part of my little like, you know, wall thing. Um, and I just have two of my Nendoroids on here. So I have um, Harley Quinn <laughs> uh, and uh, Umaru Chan from Himato Umaru. Uh, I think it's actually Himitsu Umaru Chan, uh, is the name of the show, but it's an anime. Um, but she's awesome. She loves video games and, and, um, junk food and just, you know, she's totally me as a teenager. And then, um, a little version of her that I got in a special box. But yeah, so just my little, my nerdy, my nerdy wall, I feel like. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed and it was fun. Um, I'll kind of pan to the, to the wax collection again. Just, I'm in love, obsessed. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, and that's an Animal Crossing backpack, if anyone's wondering, that actually can hold your Switch. It has like a special pocket for your Switch and stuff. That's a really cool birthday gift from a, a friend of mine. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.